Hey, happy Thursday to you. Hope you're having a great day. Can you believe that this is the 27th day of January? The year 2022, January is almost gone. Can you believe that? Hey, I want to talk to us today about God uses us despite our objections. The verses is, is Moses does a little protesting. And I'm sure all of us have protested when God's asked us something. But here it is. I just want to read it real quick. Therefore, go and I will be with you. I'll be your mouth and I will teach you what you shall speak. But he said, oh, my Lord, please send someone else. Please send someone else. And then the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, is there not Aaron, your brother, the Levite? I know that he can speak well. Behold, he is coming out to meet you. And when he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. And you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth. And I will be with you and I will use your mouth and his mouth. And we'll teach you both what to do. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Uh, OK, so for the last couple of days, our pastors have shared protests from Moses, you know, who was asked to do a monumental task. He was asked really to go to the number one person in the nation and tell that person, let my people go. Turn them loose. Do you recall a time, maybe in your life, that God asked you to do something that you thought was monumental? And then you began to make excuses and you began telling God, Lord, I, I can't do this. There's no way that I can do this. Are you sure you're asking me to do this, God? Sounds kind of like Moses' excuses. I remember in uh, 2004, when I came to, to Calvary to interview for the position of the church administrator. And I had one of those wake up calls in the middle of the night. God made it really clear to me that he had called me to come and be part of this team. And he was giving me the opportunity to do that. And so God affirmed that he was calling me to come to Lake Havasu and join the Calvary team to lead people to a life changing relationship with Jesus Christ. The next day and for the next couple of days, I met with the personnel team here. And much like Moses, this is what I said. I've never done what you're asking me to do. But I do know this. God has given me permission and God has called me to come to Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And you guys get to figure out whether or not you want me. Well, 18 years later, guess what? Here I am making this word of the day and just sharing from my heart to you what kind of family we can build in Lake Havasu City. And even though Moses gave God every excuse that actually angered God, God used Moses to accomplish his calling. God provided everything that Moses needed. Moses' brother Aaron, he gave him to partner with him. And God spoke through Moses to Aaron, who shunned God's truth. Wow. God does not usually call the equipped. He generally equips the called. So you may be struggling right now with a calling that God has laid on you. you every turn you take, you know God is asking you specifically, you personally, to take a role. To step, maybe it's a life group leader that God's asking you to be. Maybe it's to go and, and share the gospel with the homeless. Maybe it's to lead in worship. Maybe it's to volunteer in some area of ministry. And you know that God's calling you, but you're giving him excuses. Can I just tell you to hit the brake, throw your hands up, in surrender the same way Moses did and trust that God is going to provide exactly everything that you need. He'll help you accomplish what he has prepared in advance for you to do. So the next time God gives you a monumental task that there is no way that you on your own can possibly ever within your own strength accomplish it, answer God's call. And watch how he uses you to grow the kingdom here in Lake Havasu City and in the Parker area. In other words, just say yes to God and follow his direction. Will you join me in prayer? 
God, so often we get so tied up in, in thinking that we're not qualified to do what you've asked us to do. But God, all of the time you've prepared in advance good works for us and you just help us to intersect that with the abilities that you've given us. And I'm praying for everyone that hears this, that they take that step of faith. That they trust you with all of their heart. That they not lean to their own understanding. That in all of their ways, they acknowledge you. And God, you'll continue to direct their paths. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Look forward to seeing you this weekend. God bless.